I've been looking on the internet for six months. Where's the kitchen? <laughs> the apartment is absolutely disgusting. It really does have a lot of potential. I've got some pretty good ideas of how you could rejig this space. Wow. Oh my god. Finding a fabulous rental in the big city is a big challenge. It seems like everybody's looking for the exact same thing. They want the stylish apartment, the trendy neighborhood, and they'd like it all on a dime. Young professional couple Amy and Justin are no exception to the rule. We are currently living in a house of five people. Five of them. <laughs> it's cozy in here. Uh, what cozy actually means is cramped. We have a dining room table, which mostly is my office, and a kitchen that is great if you don't try to put five people in it. Now that their careers and their relationship are more established, they're ready to find a place on their own. I work for a marketing company. I'm a building code consultant. I work uh, primarily out of this home office. I'd like to start feeling more like we're both young professionals instead of college roommates. Beer cake, enough said. And then we'll move right into our room. Yeah. It's totally crammed. There is. Well, the piano, yep. the accordion. Two guitars. We have about 30 hats, 74 martini glasses. I found a good deal. Just couldn't pass it up. This is my office. I pull over my piano bench here as my desk, and voila. I've been looking on the internet consistently for six months. We definitely need some help with this. They need a place on their own, but they can't find anything that they like that they can afford. So they need me to help them find their first grown-up apartment together. Hello. Hey, how are you doing? You must be Justin. I am Justin. Jody, nice Jody. to meet you. Hi, Amy. This place is nice. Why do you guys want to leave? Oh, it definitely feels like a dorm in here. We need to be on yeah. our own. OK, we need to find you another place. <laughs> well, we're looking for a one bedroom. We definitely like to have space for Justin to have his own home office. I play a lot of music, so a nice spot that doubles as kind of a, an area to play. Love to have a parking. My truck shifty needs a home. Washer and dryer, we need to have those in the same building. Definitely need to be close to the subway. And which areas do you guys see yourselves living in? We really like it down close to the university. Music down there is great. All sorts of restaurants. Mm -hmm. It's exactly what we're looking for. How much are you willing to spend? $1,300, including utilities. Including. Whew. As a general rule, what I like to see my clients spend on a rental would be around the 25% mark. So if Amy and Justin's combined income is around $63,000 a year, they're right on target to budget $1,300 a month on rent. You guys want what everyone wants, the most popular type of place in the most popular area for a fairly low budget. Yes. I'm going to show you some areas that you don't even know exist that are great and that you'll really enjoy, and we'll find you a place that I think you guys are going to love. I can't believe Amy and Justin have lasted this long in such cramped quarters. My biggest challenge will be finding a landlord that's okay with noise and an apartment big enough to house all their stuff. They're gonna have to make a lot of compromises. First things first, do your homework. Check out the internet, newspapers, talk to friends and family, and don't leave a stone unturned. First up is a tiny one bedroom plus den on a quiet tree-lined street. I'm taking a bit of a gamble showing them something outside the neighborhood they asked for. But it's still a safe seven minute walk to the subway for Amy and a short taxi ride to the music scene Justin loves. If they can embrace this residential vibe, this rental might be just what they're looking for. So what I found for you here is just a couple of blocks away from an area that we all love. There's subway there. So you're right on the subway line. There is a garage with a little space in it for Shifty. Nice. Oh, nice. Parking is an extra $25 per month. Okay. This is very close to my office, too, so it's definitely worth looking at. Let's have a look. Great. I'll show you what's going on up here. Most renters prefer the upstairs unit since you don't have to deal with the noise of people walking around above you. Oh, hardwood. I love it. Yes. Hardwood is good. We can deal with that. Yeah. Hardwood. Curtains, no. We take okay. those out. That's yeah. temporary. Yeah, fair enough. So this would be your bedroom? Yeah, it's not a bad size if you're just sleeping, right? Bedroom is decent. Yeah, nothing wrong with the bedroom. Uh, I just want to show you the office. Wow. 
<laughs> this is tiny. This room, they actually advertise as a bedroom. For you guys, I can absolutely see this working as an um, office slash uh, musical instrument storage. That office is just too small. It's not exactly what we were hoping for. They asked me for a one bedroom plus den, and that's absolutely normal for a den. What they really want is two big bedrooms. So the bathroom. Oh, pink. The bathroom it's is pink. pretty and pink. I know Justin wouldn't like a girly bathroom. Yeah, pink just doesn't go well with me. So it's a bit of a 70s kitchen. They've done a few things to update it. These would have been the 70s pulls. Yeah. And the landlord is OK with us doing some modernization. The other thing I like about this kitchen is there's two windows, so you have lots of light. I love the amount of windows that were in this apartment. It was really well lit. It does feel a little hot in here, so I don't know what it would be like after you have the stove yeah. on in the summer. The house has AC, but it's not on. I wish every landlord would make their place as comfortable as it possibly can be when they're trying to get someone to live there. I really like the kitchen. I like the retro style. The linoleum gold specked floor, definitely fun. You know, gold flex, why not? Let me show you the living room. So this was clearly a master bedroom at some point. In the past, this apartment was a second story of a single family home. Now that it's been converted into rentals, the master bedroom needs to be converted too. The only way to use this space as an apartment is if this is your living room. Mm -hmm. So we have to do things to make it feel more like a living room. First, the closet doors have to go. That way we can repurpose the area for a workstation for Amy. To add a little living room-like character, I'd apply inexpensive molding to the walls in large squares, then paint out the trim to match the walls. Since it's Amy's favorite color, we'd replace the boring builder's beige with a warm purple. I'm not entirely sure of Jody's idea of changing a, what used to be a bedroom into a living room. I don't see that as being good for us. OK, so they aren't convinced. Maybe the price will change their mind. I've come in $100 under budget. All right. Mm. So we're at $1,200 per month for this place. A budget that's below what we were thinking. As you start to see places, you, you recognize what the priorities really are. The office is really small, so I would definitely get the short end of the stick. In. Getting covered parking in a rental at 25 bucks a month is unheard of. I refuse to live without laundry in the building. Wasn't that far from the subway. I can still walk. Whether or not this is the compromise they're willing to accept is the question. We'll find out. Next, I'm taking Amy and Justin to a cozy two-bedroom apartment that's five minutes from the university neighborhood they asked for. It's central, but at 600 square feet, it's also half the size of rental number one. Plus, it's on one of the busiest roads around. Noisy streets mean less competition for rentals, so if our little noisemakers can block out the traffic, this charming Victorian walk-up might be their ticket into one of the city's plum areas. We love this neighborhood. I love it too, it's so good. And I found a gorgeous walk-up Victorian that's divided into five different apartments. The one I've got for us to see today is the very top one. Yay. Now any time that they take what used to be a single family home and turn it into a number of apartments, the layouts can get a little bit wonky, but I think this one has a lot of potential for you guys. It's got laundry in the basement. Mm -hmm. There is parking in the back. Let's go have a peek. They'll love the location, but are they willing to give up square footage to live here? So, <laughs> initial thoughts? Where's the kitchen? <laughs> so the kitchen is the area that needs the most work. Walk up the stairs and you see the tiny kitchen with all the clutter. That was kind of a punch in the face. It has a double sink, but it has no counter space. What you do get with this area is the open concept, which makes the whole space feel bigger. I like the open concept. Let's talk about the living area. OK, so we would call this cozy. But in a great area like this, sometimes you have to go with a smaller space in order to be able to enjoy the area. It's like a trade-off. What do you think is behind door number two? Please don't tell me that's the bathroom. Oh, it is a bathroom. Yes, it is. It's one of two bathrooms in this place. Cool. That's a perk that you don't very often get, mm -hmm. uh, and, it's a, and it's a good one. The other bathroom is just through the office. Cool. So we'll see it over here. This den is so tight right now with unbelievable clutter. I, I don't know how anyone gets anything done in here. If you remove even half of the stuff the current tenants have, then I think it would be manageable, maybe. This is a very standard sized den. Yeah, we could make it work here. And it's large enough for a music room, too. And then the washroom is right off of here. Washroom number two. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, it's tight, but it's usable. 
It's got a shower. That Let helps. Go. If you were just using a bedroom as a bedroom, how's this? The bedroom's fine. It would fit all of our furniture. Loads of places have bedrooms that are quite a bit smaller than that one, so if they can't make this one work, then we've really got our work cut out for us. The best part is the patio. How's this for a patio? Wow. This I like. Patio is the best part about the apartment. There aren't that many apartments in the city that have a deck that's this big. Amy and Justin need to realize that with every apartment, there are some things you like. I love the deck. And some things you don't. Kitchen, really tiny. It might be small, but that kitchen has potential. I took them in for a closer look. I've got some pretty good ideas of how you could rejig this space to work for you. While I can't add square footage, I can easily add more counter space. As a renter, you don't want to invest in fixed countertops that you can't take with you, so I'd suggest some portable counter space with built-in storage underneath. Custom cabinetry is out of the question on a renter's budget, so I'd bump up the storage potential of this kitchen with inexpensive open shelving. Jody's idea of adding more counter space is definitely something that I can see working for us. And I came in bang on your budget. So $1,300 including utilities and including parking. Perfect. Great. All right. Mm -hmm. The closer you get to a fabulous area, the higher the prices are. So I was expecting for a place like this that they'd have to spend a couple extra hundred bucks. When I first walked into the place, I thought, oh, this place is small. It's disgusting. It hasn't been cleaned in a very long time. What renters need to know is you can put a clause into your contract that asks the landlord to take care of cleaning the place before you move in. Wait until Amy and Justin lay eyes on the spacious and spotless apartment I'm showing them next. It has the two good-sized bedrooms they're really looking for. Plus, it's smack dab in the middle of their dream neighborhood. This area has it all. Only problem is, two bedrooms in this neck of the woods rent for close to $2,000 a month. But I found them a spacious apartment on a quiet side street. There's just one little problem. You're in a basement apartment. Amy hates basements. That's something I wish I'd known days ago. So as I got you into one of your favorite neighborhoods, there's public transportation right at the doorstep, street parking, so you'd be able to get a pass and park here whenever you want. Okay. Let's check Go it out. In. So come on in. Really nice natural light. This is one of the tallest basements I've ever seen, so it doesn't feel like a basement. Coin off laundry, so that takes care of something on your wish list. It's fine, yeah. So come check out the bedroom. Wow, small. So smaller bedroom than you're used to, but it's only used for sleeping. Well, I think all of our stuff bedroom-wise would fit in here. So as long as we have room for other stuff elsewhere, we're fine. Yeah. So come check out the bathroom. Not bad. How do you feel about the red? I don't think we'd have to paint. No, I'd leave the red. We could leave the bathroom exactly the way that it is and move in. So the office, clearly the brightest room with two fairly large windows. Some big windows, I like that. And I thought that would be better for you for working all day long. I'm right. seeing guitars hung on the walls here. Never seen a place with an office that perfect for us. Why don't you guys have a closer look at the kitchen? It's a nice size. Yeah, I like it. Good cupboard space, new appliances. This kitchen's pretty good. Lots Definitely. of room for martini glasses. On that note, let's check out the uh, living room. So, it's a long, narrow, open space. It might be a little too narrow for an open concept. We would need to create a specific kitchen, dining, and living area. First, look to the floor. Area rugs are an easy and inexpensive way to create separate living spaces. A stylish rug will add personality, warm up a cold tile floor, and they're perfect for renters since you can roll them up and take them with you when you're on the move. To create a sense of a dedicated dining area, I'd install a show-stopping pendant light fixture. If you supply the light, most landlords will pay to have it installed by an electrician. All of this under budget, so I'm at $1,200 per month here. And it's street parking, so that's an extra $130 per year. Mm -hmm. um, so it's well within budget, but you're in a basement. This is the best location we've seen of all the places we've looked at. The fact that it's in a basement is making it a very hard decision. You guys have seen some of the best places on the market, and you need to make a decision before you lose one of them. What's it going to be? Quiet, tree-lined street, tiny kitchen, or spacious basement. Which rental will Amy and Justin choose for their first apartment together? So you guys have seen some of the best places on the market that are in your price bracket. Which one is it going to be? 
The second floor walk-up was nice. It had ample space. It seems like a very family-oriented neighborhood, and I don't think that we're ready for that yet. OK. What about the Victorian? Great location on a very busy street. We thought of it as close to transit. Yeah. <laughs> and then you dance yourself upstairs, and you come into that kitchen, and pow, it's the <laughs> smallest little thing you've ever seen. And what about this one that we're in now? It's in a great neighborhood on a nice, quiet street. This place really has the greatest kitchen I've seen in a rental. But it is a basement, and I don't know how I feel about living in a basement. OK, so which one's it going to be? I've shown them three great rentals, all of them coming on budget. If you ask me, Amy and Justin are deciding between the final two. I think we're going to go with the Victorian. It's the Victorian. Amy and I chose the place for the patio and the location. The patio, I think it's something that they never thought that they could get. Not on their wish list, really. I think we'll spend a lot of our time on the deck. We'll put a tent out there. <laughs> Now, if you want that place, you've got to get on the phone to that landlord right away and snap it up before somebody else does. They might want the apartment, but is the landlord going to want their noise? We are musicians, and we do make quite a bit of noise. Anytime a tenant has something that a landlord might question, it's so much better to be upfront and honest about it. First thing that we're Not only that, but Amy is asking them to throw in a professional cleaning. And possibly cleaning it for us beforehand. Uh, the it's the moment of truth. If the landlord isn't on board with the music and cleaning, then we're back at square one. Okay, so how did it go? They said that they're definitely going to get the place professionally cleaned. It's something they do anyways. And what did they say about the music? No problem, as long as we invite all the rest of the tenants. <laughs> That's fantastic. We're going to meet them tomorrow to discuss the rest of the rent. Amy and Justin made it pretty easy for the landlord to say yes, since they arrived with a perfect credit report and post-dated checks. It's not usually this easy, but they signed a two-year lease on the spot. We have our place. I'm really excited. I, I wish we could move in now. We didn't have it in our budget to hire movers, so they recruited a handful of their strongest friends and rented a moving van. We moved more as a party and more fun than as a chore. Everyone moves at the beginning of the month, so rental vans get snapped up quickly. Since they delayed their move by almost a week to give the landlord time to clean, Amy and Justin had no problem reserving a van. The landlord made good on their promise and scrubbed the entire place. With a fresh coat of paint, the apartment looks brand new. Thanks to their friends, the move cost just under $400. We've taken over Amy and Justin's new apartment, and now we need to pull it all together. This place has potential, but it's going to take a lot of work. I promised these guys a stylish and clean kitchen with counter space and storage to spare. But it's a rental. You don't want to invest too much money in someone else's property. So I've given us a tight budget. Everything has to come in under $1,000. We have a long way to go and little money to spend to turn this kitchen from the worst room in the rental to the best. Oh, wow. Oh, my god. Nice. So comfy. Oh, wow. Oh, my god. Nice. All right, I fancy this. This is killer. The wall is magnetic. No way! Magnetic primer and then chalkboard paint over top. I think it'll be so much fun at martini parties. Oh my god, <laughs> our friends are going to love it. Well, I think it's going to be a great art exhibit. You never know what'll end up there. Way more countertop oh, space. Oh, and mm. the cupboards look so much better now. They even found spot for the martini glasses. <laughs> it's actually two bottoms of a desk. We put a countertop yep. on top of it, so like a chop block. Right now, it can act as a return or an island in the kitchen. You can move it because it's on wheels. OK, cool. That lock. So you can move it around. If you're having a party, you could go against this wall. You could do whatever you want with it. Party time, we move the kitchen arrangement over to the side. More room. Otherwise, it's great counter space. You got the stools, so that works yeah. just fine. The stools help the new countertop do double duty as a breakfast bar. It'll be good for us to actually have some space to sit. Yeah more workable than it was before, and a lot cleaner. We couldn't have moved in here without the cleaning. And of course, a fresh coat of paint always helps make a place feel really clean as well. I really 
like how open everything is and that we can, you know, cook and entertain. In small spaces, it's so important to keep things consistent. So we have the same color running across the whole room and the same light fixtures in both spaces. I love the light fixtures. Mm -hmm. And the curtains. Oh, I love the orange. I love the orange. One of the most important things in Amy and Justin's search was finding an office where both of them can get some work done. And they'll have no trouble fitting a couple of desks in there down the road. We will be able to fit both of our desks in there, as well as the piano, the accordion, the guitars. It's very surprising how much you can actually fit in that space. Amy and Justin's bedroom looks a thousand times better. The way the bedroom is laid out right now is kind of perfect for us. We still have room to walk around. We still have access to the back patio. The back patio is great. The previous tenant left all their exterior furniture. We're going to have a party tomorrow. Oh, oh my. It's beautiful. Well done. When we first saw the place, it felt crowded and very tiny. And now it's entirely the opposite. It feels spacious. You feel like you can relax in it. It feels absolutely wonderful. This place is completely transformed. It's hard to believe that we only spent $925. I think it's important to make a home your own, regardless of whether you're renting or buying. So investing some money into a space that you think you're going to live in in the next three years or even more, I think that that's important. We're going to be here for a while. We love this place. Great job. Yeah, yeah. thank you so much. I think it's a great space for them to start this next phase of their life. Thank you.